funny legs. He was the master of suspense and terror. Oh, and everyone look to the right side here. Guys, here's our newest sound stage stages being built here. They're not quite ready yet, but I think they're on a pretty tight deadline, aren't they, Donna? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. They're going to be broadcasting live Hairspray, the musical, from that sound stage. They're also using the sets just up ahead here. It's going to be on NBC, December 7th. Yeah, check it out, guys. So when you guys watch the show, just say, hey, we saw that set before they were filming here. here we but now, about those 3D glasses, guys. We're leaving the theme park now. We're taking to the ancient and mysterious Skull Island from Peter Jackson's King Kong. You sure you want to go in here? It looks pretty dark and scary. Well, I guess it's too late now. I think King Kong stepped on that tour back there. Magnum P.I.'s Ferrari. Hey, look, there's Biff's convertible from the Back to the Future films. Here's some futuristic cars from Back to the Future Part 2. Anybody see Back to the Future Part 2? Yeah. yeah. Remember when Doc Brown took Marty to the future? Yeah. Do you guys remember what year that was? 2015. 2015, right? <laughs> it was last year. The future is now the past. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Speaking of the past, we got the Flintstones cars. Look at this. We got Fast and Furious cars coming out. And where are my Jurassic Park fans? Coming up, you're going to see a couple of vehicles from our latest film, Jurassic World. Including the gyrosphere that's coming up. <laughs> now, it's minus the sphere. Folks, this is the way they used it for filming right here. There was never a sphere on it. That was in la added in later using a computer. Can anybody tell me why you wouldn't want a sphere on there while you're filming? Glare. The glare and reflection. That's it. If they would have had a real sphere on there, you could have seen the camera and the crew and the reflection. So they added it in later using a computer. You guys, coming up on the right side, you'll see a boat. It was attacked by the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3. Over here to the left, you'll see a Stegosaurus cage and some vehicles from the second film, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, including this RV. Watch your screens. Here's how it looks. Remember this scene? This RV was thrown over the cliff by two T-Rexes. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, by the way, guys, we may have a little more water waiting for you at the bottom of this hill. Especially if you're on this side. <laughs> at the bottom of this hill, we're going to show all of you where we filmed this scene from Big Fat Liar with Frankie Munoz and Anthony Mines. Stop if you're on this side. If you guys want to stand up for a better view, you can stand up here if you'd like. There you go. Oh, it looks like we're adding some thunder and lightning to the scene. Of course, the thunder is a sound effect. The lightning is strobe lights bouncing off the buildings. Let's add some rain. We have sprinklers hidden all throughout this set. There's one of the telephone poles. Now this may not look too much like a rainy day with the sun shining in, but actually this is about the right time of day they like to film rain scenes here. Either before the sun comes up in the morning or after the sun goes down at night, you have that right lighting you'd have on a cloudy day. But Donna, I think we're missing one effect here, huh? I keep, what is it? Rain, thunder, lightning. Rain, no, we already said that. <laughs> the flood was created by releasing 10,000 gallons of water from a tank at the very top of the hill. After the water goes under the bridge, it's pumped into all the drinking fountains at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, after the water goes under this bridge, it gets pumped right back up into the tank. I should not pick on Disneyland, should I? Or Disney, they actually film here quite a bit. 
Yeah, folks, all the major studios come to Universal because we're so big, they actually rent out our studio to film their productions. Anybody here see Pirates of the Caribbean? Of course, yeah. we all saw those. Guys, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean filmed on this next set right up here. This was the island of Tortuga, the pirate island where Captain Jack Sparrow recruited his pirate crew. This is also where he kept getting slapped by all those ladies. He probably deserved that. This is also in a Lady Gaga music video, Judas. It's in Nacho Libre with Jack Black. It was a Peruvian village in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's been in thousands of movies and TV shows. Hey, but look at this. We're heading a little bit north of the border here. This is Six Points, Texas. It's our largest and oldest western set. Where are my Aussies at today? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, 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 oi! I love it! <laughs> Way to go, guys. Does this look like the outback of Australia to you guys? No. Not at all, right? He's like, not with the Porsche. Right? Believe it or not, they made this look like the outback of Australia around 1901 for another Disney movie, Saving Mr. Banks. Anybody see that one? It's a great movie about the making of Mary Poppins and the author P.L. Travers, who was Australian, and her relationship with Walt Disney. Now, in the film, they do flashbacks of when P.L. Travers was a little girl growing up in Australia around 1901. This is the set they used for that. Look to the right here. On the left side of the street, with that red truck, there's a building with an awning and little arches on it. That was the bank where her father worked in the film. Remember the scene where he's fired for being drunk on the job? Yeah. And then the little girl walks in, the boss feels sorry for the little girl, and gives the dad the job back. That was filmed right there. Also, her father buys her an ice cream cone in this little town. Now, to make this look more like an older town or a western town, we'll cover all these streets with dirt. We'll cover any visible concrete sidewalks with wooden planks. And then we dress up the set with props, like hitching posts, watering troughs, a couple of bales of hay here and there. We'll dress up the shop windows, bring in some background actors wearing western costumes, bring in some horses, maybe a stagecoach. You've got yourself a western story. town ready for filming. Well guys, coming up on the right side up here is stage 50. This is our subway station set. <coughs> now this is also our earthquake attraction. We wanted to welcome all of you to California with a nice big earthquake. <laughs> Raise your hand if this will be the first earthquake you've ever been in. Right, here. right if you have you? Okay. Well guys, I guess we're going to take a little visit here. We'll come back to Little Europe here in a second. We want to take you on a little visit to Little Europe. Back in the old days, we did a lot of classic Universal monster movies here, guys, like Frankenstein, Dracula, The Wolfman. Remember those guys? We had any fans of the old horror films? Here, watch this. Watch your screen. It's changed a lot since then. <laughs> Hey guys, they might be filming Home and Family up here. I'm going to go off the microphone. I don't want to interrupt their production, but get your cameras ready. They're filming Home and Family. There's on the Hallmark Channel, weekday mornings here. It's a really cool show. They have home improvement ideas, recipe ideas, decorating ideas, celebrity guests. Well, guys, this is stage 50 right up here. We are going to be going inside. It's our earthquake attraction. Now, this attraction was built just for our studio, or for our studio tour. We wanted to demonstrate to our guests how we do disaster effects in Hollywood. They did such a good job on this. We use it in productions all the time now. Anybody here watch Bones? Oh, yeah. Guys, watch this. Here's an episode of Bones that filmed inside stage 50. In this episode, there was an earthquake in Washington, D.C. It was called Bones. And Hey guys, in this episode, there's an earthquake that actually unearthed some bones, which of course needed an investigation. They also filmed that 
in stage 50. Watch this. Yeah, we're here about the uh, remains. That's him. Right over there. You all right? Yeah. Okay, guys, it's our turn. Hey, that's a good The big one. Oh, wait, you know what? That was probably just a tremor. Guys, here comes the big one. Hold on. Is that ceiling cracking over there? Hold on, everybody. This is a big one. Just hold on, everybody. Oh, no, I hear a subway train coming into the station up here. Guys, it's going to crash into that ceiling it's caved in. Okay, hold on. I think it's all over. Okay, whose turn is it to get wet? Which side? This side? Oh, look out on the right! <laughs> Like it would have registered 8.3 on the Richter scale. That's a pretty big one. This entire attraction can reset and do it all over again in 15 seconds. Believe it or not, though, guys, there's a bigger shark out here. Oh, wait, I hear his music. Oh, there he is! <laughs> guys, there's a diver out here. The diver needs to get in that boat. I think it's too late. It takes guts to work out there. Oh, well, there, there they are! Ooh! Jeez! We're gonna take cover behind these flammable gasoline barrels. We should be safe here. I don't see the shark. Oh, he's under the pier. Right over there. Right over there. survived an attack by a great white shark. Man, he was that close to you guys over here. Hey, some more famous houses on the... Uh -oh. Donna, I don't think your car's supposed to be there. Uh, you want to pull that oh. in? Yeah, there's no license plate. That should be with the other Fast and Furious cars. Right? It does look suspicious. I wonder if security knows about that. Maybe we should call them. Oh, here they are right now. Studio tour. Looks like we might have an issue. I'm patching you into Agent Novak from the FBI. I'm sorry to interrupt your fun, but we've got video surveillance on that charger you all saw. We ran it through the system, and the driver has been positively identified as Dominic Toretto. I've been tracking this guy for a while. He's a hardened criminal. He's likely armed, and he is definitely dangerous. My men and I are on our way to apprehend him right now. If you see him, don't be a hero. Don't engage him. Just keep a safe distance and report any further sightings to studio security immediately. We'll handle it from there. Okay, I guess continue the tour? Yeah. I guess they've got it. Okay, guys, we'll just continue the tour here, guys. This is our wilderness area here, guys, where we film a lot of outdoor scenes. Being the largest studio in Hollywood, we can film quite a bit outside. A lot of the other studios love this area. Oh, this guy. Uh, Look, this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? What's that? This is a secure line. Who is that? Who are you? Who is that? I'll tell you who I am, boy. Ooh. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. 
and I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service, and as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. He said hell. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. Ooh. One, there's a high-value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. Oh, and two, witness? an international crime syndicate led by lady? Owen Shaw is honing this in guy? on this vehicle to take that witness out. It's, it's this guy. Shaw's as ruthless as they come, and he'll stop at nothing to eliminate his target. Every living soul on this vehicle is in serious danger. Other than that, enjoy the ride. This is not your jurisdiction. It is now, Stink Pickle. Whoa. I'm so tired of you steak guys stepping in just whenever you, you feel like Mute him. Oh, come Don't on, Don't you. There we go. That's better. We're moving your vehicle to a safe location until we have the situation under control. Until then, I want everybody to stay calm. Enjoy the ride. I'm taking care of business. I'm sorry. They're going to hide us out this chop shop here, guys. Raise your hand if this is your first visit to a LA chop shop. Oh man, I should have seen every hand go off. You guys kind of scared me. <laughs> well, maybe somebody in here can tell us what's going on. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hey, yo! Hey, yo! They just got here. All right, I got it. Well, listen, hello, beautiful people, particularly you right there missing the third row. How you doing? You good? My name is Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. Those are guys. My buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you from Shaw for a while. So we brought you in our secret spot. We're having a few friends over. It's a little messy, but it's all good. The more the merrier. Especially you right there in that third row, like I was saying. So look, see over there? That's Hobbs' urban assault vehicle. Best truck the U.S. government can buy. But that work of art back over there, it's made by my man Tej. Think of it as like a Mona Lisa on wheels. Extra flock. So did you break it down to them? What's that? You had one job to do, Roman, one. All right, look guys, we're gonna keep Shaw from finding you, but to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the syndicate tracking us here. So put away your cameras and turn off your cell phones. One flash or one ringtone could give us away. I need y'all to take this real I'm, I'm on the ground right now. Hey, let's just, just back up a little bit. Got it. It's like that. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roland, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out here. Otherwise, we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. They have a mind a whole lot bigger than yours. Hobbs, let's put this cop this out. <laughs> Let's go, Cookie Puss! That ugly slow match. Cheat. Somebody out there really pissed off Shaw. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just having another time. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was all vibrating. Shaw traced us. I just can't hold him forever. Let me. Roll him, we're up. Try to move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. 